Hi everyone. As promised, I'm here ready to make a video on the new Dyson Airwrap. Uh, we're going to test it out and at the very end I will give you guys my thoughts. Um, I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it just because I've only used it a couple times. So I'm still getting comfortable with it. I'm not a hairdresser, um, but just like everybody else, we're just going to wing it, try it out, see what happens. Um, quick run through. So on off button at the very end, there's the cold shot. We have the temperature control. There's three, two, so medium and then hot and the cold setting. Over here, we have the airflow speed. So there's three, do with that what you will. <laughs> and then this is awesome because it kind of works as like a, like a hair dryer. So if you move this, the air will come out of this area. But if you want to use it as a smoothing um, attachment, I guess you will go here and twist this all the way up and you can lean it this way, lean it the other way, either way. So you could use it here or here. Um, and the back will have the lock and open button. And yeah, so as I said, I will use it as a hair dryer. Um, I did already apply all of my hair products. I will list those down below. If you guys have any questions about those, um, let me know. Half the battle, I think, is the products. The other half is just the learning curve of trying to figure this tool out. Um, I don't think it's too hard, but, you know, when it comes to doing curls and just all that jazz, I, mm, I'm still figuring that out. Anyway, um, I'm racing through this because I don't want to take too much of your time. But, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And when I'm done drying, I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, guys, we are back. I just got done drying my hair. Took just about a couple of minutes. I have pretty fine hair, so blow drying it is not that long of a process, but because also it is fine, my hair can burn really, really quickly, fairly easily. So I love that so far it's dry, but doesn't feel stripped of its moisture. So I'm already liking that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the round brush. So pretty quickly, I'm going to switch that out. All right. I'm going to show you guys clips of me, kind of how I use it. I've already, like I said, applied my product. So hopefully we can get quite a bit of volume. Uh, I don't have a lot of hair. Looks like it, but not really. So we want big hair. Not super big, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys clips of me trying this out. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, any tips on how to do it better? Always down for that. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, this is the halfway point. As you can see, I've got much needed volume and it took me about five minutes. I mainly focused, excuse me, on uh, getting the volume here. And then the rest, I really don't care. It doesn't have to be specific. I'm not really picky about how the curls lay or whatever, but I just know that because my hair is so straight, I want a little bit of shape. Just give it a little bit of body. And for that, I will be using the 1.6 inch barrel. And I'm sure you guys know this by now, but the new version, you don't have to switch out the barrels. All you gotta do is click it left or right and it changes the direction of the airflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna section off my hair just to keep it a little bit more organized. Um, and I don't lose track of where I am. But yeah, here we go. I found these really cool um, dry bar alligator clips. They really hold on. So anyway, yes, let us get through this. Look at that. 
super awesome. At the end, it will be brushed out, so I'm not gonna have these little ringlets, but we want a little bit of shape. All right, so on and so forth. I will see you guys at the midpoint and then at the end. Okay guys, so we are at the halfway point and just to show you guys a difference, this is just blow dried with volume at the root of my hair, but then this is before brushing it out, but like it's got so much bounce and shine. I am totally loving that. Um, some of these curls after being brushed out will calm down and I will set them with a hairspray. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the very end. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. I, uh, yeah, I'm loving this. It's just so bouncy and healthy, shiny. Uh, I forgot my brush, but we are gonna brush this with my fingers. Some of them will relax, some of these curls will relax, and uh, that's good. I'm not looking for a super tight curl look. I love the way it gives me this kind of bouncy look in the front here, my bangs. Anyway, not a hairdresser, but this is just pretty, pretty cool, pretty impressive considering I have no experience, just my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I already went ahead and set it with some hairspray, but I will put some um, hair oil on the ends just to make sure that they are nourished and not dry looking. Yeah, there we go. So what do you guys think? Yeah, oh Lord. And this all took me about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Not bad considering I could take an hour if I wanted to. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the look. I hope you guys like it. If there are any other requests, let me know. Uh, I will link, like I said uh, earlier, all of the hair products I used uh, down below. And I think next up, I will be doing my everyday makeup look. So if you guys are interested, let me know down below. I would super appreciate it. Everyone has been super, super kind. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.